Hey guys, I want to show you a super cool feature that we just added to Pixelcade, and that's called integration with retro achievements. So the way this works is if I launch a game, and right now this only works on MU Elec, but see how this game has that little trophy there? That means this game supports a thing called retro achievements, and I'll show you what that means in a sec. So let's go ahead and launch the game. And you can see here, Pixelcade is doing, now playing Berserk. And let's go ahead and start the game. And basically what Retro Achievement means is if I achieve a certain score, so in this case, if I hit 1000, that's gonna trigger an event. Uh, you'll see, actually see a little pop up on the screen. And then Pixelcade is actually gonna intercept that event as well. And you'll see this little cool animation play and uh, some text scroll on the exact event that we achieved. So let me show you how that works. So we're just going to play here. All right, so we're almost to 1,000. So keep your eye on Pixelcade. And notice what happens when we hit 1,000. So you see that cool animation played, and then that text is going to scroll. That's basically the description of what the achievement was, which in this case was a score of 1,000. Here's another achievement. This is going to hit at 2,000. So again, you see that cool animation, and now it's going to scroll different text, letting us know that we hit 2,000, which was this particular achievement. And then you'll notice that that animation was different. So the way it's programmed is it will play between 1 and 10 animations randomly, and then it scrolls the text of the achievement, and then it lands back on the marquee. And what's cool is if you go to this website, Retro Achievements, and you find the game that you just played. So I was just playing Berserk on Atari 2600. I met, I think, two of them. So if I refresh the page, it's going to show me the two achievements that I did. So that is way cool. And they've got some leader, leaderboard stuff, high scores, etc. cetera. Um, but let me see. Let me go to the bookmark I did here. And what's neat is that you can browse by console. So if you're a big NES person, for example, you can see all the games that have achievements on NES. You can look here and then just kind of check them out before you play them. Here's the achievements. So you can kind of see what you're getting into. So this is super cool. Um, it's free. There's no charge for it. You just sign up an account. They even have arcade as well. Arcade, yeah, here it is. Here's arcade. So here's all the the games with achievements, as you can see, there's just a ton. It is really slick. So here is how to turn on retro achievements in MU Elec. So just go to the menu. And we're going to go here to game settings. Scroll down to retro achievement settings. And I've already got it turned on, but you go ahead and turn it on. And then when you created your username and password from retroachievements.org, you would enter your credentials here. And that's it. And then what's also pretty cool is if you go here, Retro Achievements, it shows you all the badges that you've earned. So that's also super cool. OK, so here we are back in MU Elec. And I just wanted to show you that the games that have the little trophy icon, that means that supports those Retro Achievements. And there's quite a few. I think there's like literally thousands. It's, it's pretty crazy what the community has done. So that one doesn't. You don't see the trophy icon. That one, you see the trophy icon, it does. So lots of things to explore there.